is great. Vasily, first of all, congratulations. What a fantastic match. Uh, thank you, Anna. And uh, thanks uh, a lot for you for organizing this uh, very nice uh, e e event in such a hard time for uh, all of people. Well, I, I'm very happy that you accepted to play. I think, you know, uh, there are still 3,000 people watching. And, uh, oh, you know... Oh, but, uh, 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 me and Gata, we know each other during many years, so uh, I, I even didn't think about this. <laughs> well, people are, are very, very happy in the chat. You know, many people are saying you are their favorite player, and it's so great to have... Uh, had you played this match regardless of the result, but you won the match and we saw some fantastic games We we did the interview with Gata already. He said, you know, he hugely enjoyed the match and there were so many interesting moments How did you how did you feel? Yes, uh, it really was uh, very interesting uh, uh, Many tactics many mistakes of course, but in each game it was real fight it, uh, it was uh, nice to play, and uh, I also really enjoy it. And uh, it, uh, this match, uh, I hope, will give me new inspiration to to work on chess. And uh, and thanks a lot for you and for my opponent. Well, I can also tell you that the sponsors have already said that they are happy to sponsor a rematch. Uh, it was such a, you know, such a great success. So I, I hope there will be a rematch. I had such a great time. Everyone uh, had such a great time. <laughs> Would you be happy to play again? Yes, it's totally possible. Why not? <laughs> That would be, that would uh, be great. Uh, can I ask you one question before the match? Uh, you know, you said, okay, of course, it's difficult times with Corona and all that. And uh, uh, Gata said he didn't prepare so much because it's hard to prepare against you. You know, you play everything. Did you uh, do any preparation for, for the match? Okay, uh, last time I... Uh, uh mostly study uh, drafts uh, drafts and russian checkers uh, theory and uh, strategy so uh, uh, okay i consider uh, this much uh, uh, more like fun more like testing for my shape so i didn't prepare uh, uh, very well theoretically i only followed the uh, last uh, games of data and decided it will be enough well, it is. That's one of the big uh, differences, of course. Gata, I don't know if you know this, but uh, we are currently streaming to Twitch, and Gata himself is a big uh, streamer. So he doesn't only play quite a bit of online chess. In fact, I think he just went live. So we're definitely gonna rate him, or maybe I'm seeing one. But yes, yeah, so I, I have seen uh, announced that uh, in the chess that uh, Gata streaming regular, uh, regular. Uh, Lerly, but I, I wanted to visit to see what, what he is streaming about, but uh, uh, it was explaining that I need to pay to see this. Okay, maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> so no problem for me to pay, but uh, it's problem for me to pay by uh, by internet. Okay, I don't know how this function is uh, works. Okay, so maybe next time I will listen to this. Vasil, I will make, uh, I can help you if you want to create an account and I'm sure everyone probably in the chat would very happily, you know, gift you a subscription and you can have all the access uh, you want. Um, but yeah, you know, you're more, um, you grew up, uh, you know, you and, and Gata are two legends. You were around before all this Twitch hype and all this online chess um, and uh, as you said, you're nowadays playing a bit more checkers, but how much do you still work on your uh, on your chess, you know, these days? Okay, uh, th th it's not so important how much I still work on chess, but much more important that uh, I uh, have real uh, pleasure for playing chess, and the chess is still uh, extremely interesting for me. I uh, I have uh, my school for children, I, I'm i doing uh, lessons regularly, so okay, I'm uh, uh, quite in a good shape, uh, uh, I hope, in chess. <laughs> I think you proved it. I think you proved it to us. One question I have is: I was incre incredibly impressed during the match. 
uh, how quickly you know you were spotting there were some very crazy tactics and uh, you were both spotting things very quickly um, what is your secret to you know to being so sharp still in these spots Okay, uh, okay. I follow it position and follow it time. Sometimes I play just by intuition. I have, uh, I understood that uh, I have no time to calculate everything accurately. So I try to trust my intuition, and I'm happy that uh, most of times. Uh, Everything was okay. Of course, uh, was many mistakes uh, from both sides, but uh, this is interesting play, it's, uh, and I enjoy it. Absolutely. Let's talk maybe just about one or two moments. Uh, people want to. I actually missed what exactly they want to ask something about the London system, but I'm not well, sure. Exactly. One, one thing that a lot of people are asking, uh, Basil, is would you consider to do something like Gata is doing, like many other players are doing, and actually stream? Uh, your own game, stream yourself, commentate your own game. Yes, yes, but uh, I need. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, of course, I have uh, enough material to de demonstrate for the people, but I need coach who uh, who can show me from uh, element. Uh, from uh, beginners level how it works because. Uh, I am totally amateur of this. I have uh, never stream uh, before, and uh, so if uh, I will find a teacher, I will would be happy to do it. Well, I would be very happy, but I think I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people. I would happily help you uh, to show you the basics of streaming. Okay. I would also be very happy to have you to have you on okay. stream. Yeah? Okay, okay. Uh, if you p propose me this, uh, I will be. Uh, very happy to accept your help. Well, it would be it would be my pleasure, uh, Vasil, and I'm already looking forward to to getting you started. Uh, let's talk briefly about the match. Uh, the, you know, Gata won the first game, and then there was so much. The score wa was always going back and forth. You took the lead, he took the lead, but then just before uh, just before the break in game eight, you got this nice uh, win with this C two pawn push. Uh, this mm -hmm. pawn that was unstoppable. Uh, I think we're gonna try and bring it up. Yeah. Let's just we'll try to bring it up on the board. I don't know where it. Yeah. So, but what did you want to ask me about, uh, about that game? Did you think that was a, an important moment in the game? Or or perhaps. Oh, where did you think? Where did you think the important moments of the of the match were? Okay, each each game was important. So my opponent so strong that it was impossible to relax. In in even in last game, okay, it was everything fine. But suddenly I missed a four and already was in trouble. And uh, but, but but okay, uh, I was lucky that it wasn't a decisive blunder. But uh, of course, I gave uh, to my opponent excellent chance. Of objective in hopeless position. Of course, of course. I mean hopeless uh, for, for winning chances. Uh, okay. The the beautiful moment that Fiona was talking about with this C two move. Uh, how uh, how yes. how, uh, how long before you played it did you see this idea? Uh, okay, when I, I, I played uh, H4, G8, uh, King take H4, I have seen this idea that he cannot attack my bishop because C2, yes. Uh, but uh, uh, I, uh, suppose that, uh, okay, it can uh, uh, be realized only in nice dream, but uh, okay, <laughs> everybody mistaken and I, I was lucky, of course, in objectively drawish position. Incredible, that's fantastic. Um, I think I'm gonna, you have so many fans in the chat, so I will just leave the floor to them if you have any questions. Um, okay. If they have any questions for you, if that's okay. I have one you last have one question more. first sure. and then we take it to the floor. Um, Gata described the, the game where you checkmated on F8, Queen F8 checkmate. He considered yeah. this to be the, the key moment of the match. Do you feel similarly? 
Uh, okay, but uh, we, we played the game uh, without break. Of course, it was pleasant uh, to win uh, in a totally hopeless position. Okay, uh, I understood that he could checkmate me many times before, but okay, uh, I was lucky. Okay, but uh, but after this, uh, still was a very big fight and uh, till the last game. And there's a few questions now uh, in the chat. The one question that I also found uh, that um, is, okay, there is a, a potential, and I hope there will be a rematch against Gata. Apart from Gata, if you could choose one player, who would be your favorite opponent or most interesting opponent uh, to play a match against? I don't know. I, ha I have no idea, but okay, uh, uh, it can be everybody from uh, quite a strong grandmaster, so <laughs> okay. but maybe you can uh, give me, okay, for example, five players uh, in which you are interesting and I can choose one of them if you want, but... Uh, <laughs> We can do, we can do that. There was also a question you mentioned uh, about your, you know, your uh, chess school for children. And also people yeah. noticed that you played uh, this game with a, a rating, a provisional rating of 900. And yeah, you told yeah, me so, you played uh, against some many children. Same, many of them followed follow it, follow it online by this match and immediately after the match congratulated me. Like, <laughs> lucky teacher. <laughs> Very, very nice. When did you start this uh, this school? And I think people uh, are, are curious. You know, it, it is. I guess it is the Vasily Ivanchuk school. And what do you do? Uh, what do you do there? And and it's okay. in general, it's great. You know, uh, to. Uh, I have this uh, school from uh, uh, 2012 already, so eight years already, so okay, we are doing regular, okay, now it's quarantine time, we are doing lesson online, uh, uh, we are doing uh, uh, tournaments uh, from our school uh, each uh, Thursday in the evening, and okay, maybe we will improve, maybe we will do some stream, some uh, some other programs, maybe we will uh, do international tournaments. So, okay, we have uh, quite a lot of work uh, and I hope it will be successful. That's great to hear and I certainly hope it will be uh, successful. One more question. You, you are one of the top players that we haven't seen play uh, online so much. You know, there's a lot of tournaments online uh, going on. These days, uh, would you be open, you know, to play more of these online tournaments? I know you played one in in some French Blitz tournament, but how yes, come we yes. haven't seen you so much apart yeah, from but, that? Uh, a little bit problems that I played many online tournaments, but drafts and checkers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so because. Of I not play so often with chess, uh, and I I know that uh, uh, drafts world champion Alex Georgiev uh, he uh, prefer in this time to play online chess. Mm -hmm. Opposite. <laughs> His so level is switching roles. Masters more or less same level like mine in drafts. So okay. <laughs> And what are you more looking forward to when the when the lockdown, when these Corona times, you know, when things go ba back to normal? Are you more looking forward to playing some over the board chess or some checkers drafts tournament? Okay, uh, I'm open uh, f f for both. Uh, so oh, 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 okay, uh, uh, I want uh, also to do some time without computer. It's uh, it's very important for everybody not to be uh, every day uh, on computer, but okay, uh, if uh, interesting opponents and good condition, uh, why not? Of course, uh, I'm happy to play chess, of course, and drafts too. It's different level, of course, but it's also interesting. Absolutely. There is one more uh, question. What does your username Pizzamo mean? Okay, it's uh, oh, okay. It's uh, m maybe you know uh, uh, word uh, in Russian pyjama. 
что ну, по-русски по пижама, то есть in Russian in something like uh, lingerie. Yes. <laughs> Similar word, okay. Very nice. Vasil, uh, I think I think I'm uh, slowly, <laughs> slowly, I think it's also been a, a, a long match for you. It's getting late, but I really enjoy, I really enjoy you taking your time. Uh, I, I go to sleep quite late, so it's not a problem for me. So, and, and for me, it's uh, very pleasant uh, to spend time with you and uh, with uh, another who following us uh, in chat. Absolutely. It's such a huge pleasure. I, I have one question. People in the chat have been asking, have you been following lately? There has been uh, some, you know, some big online tournaments and a bit of a rivalry between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. Did you follow any of these? Do you follow much of these online events and especially this? Oh, no, no. oh OK. I have seen a few games, but uh, I'm not follow accurately game by game. OK. So okay, some uh, games I I follow it. Uh, Kamsky play, uh, 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 Carlson play against Dean Gliren, and also I remember uh, Dubov play against the Kamura. I follow it, but I not uh, I'm not doing this regularly. Sometimes okay, I can uh, turn uh, on YouTube and okay if announce or oh, uh, th there is some match, somebody uh, commenting this. Okay, I can see this, so, but. Uh, Or, or maybe in the chess, so okay, uh, if uh, announced, for example, Mamedyarov against Artem, yeah, okay, I, uh, I have seen. Do you know that this was the match that I organized also? So there was only two matches. Shach against uh, Vladislav was the first one, and this is the second one. Uh, hey! <laughs> Yes, yes, okay. So what you want to say? Sorry. No, I just I, I was saying this was only the second match, but Gata in the interview earlier he said we should bring back, you know, more of these legends like you, like you know, Shirov, Morozovich, Gelfand, you know. What would you have to be? Kaspar <laughs> Sorry, who? Why Karpo <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Why not? <laughs> For a great move, probably for chess, yeah. Why not? Okay, of course they are great players, and maybe for spectators will be interesting to involve them again. Absolutely, of course. Uh, in this match against Gata, you mixed your openings a lot and people were very impressed. And uh, one person in the chat wants to know, how do you know so many openings? How can you play so many openings? Okay. Uh... Okay, maybe I have a good feeling of chess, of uh, coordination of pieces, so... Okay, no, not always I'm playing opening well, but okay, uh, at least for me, it's still interesting to study new things for me, and also new openings in chess. But uh, I'm not focusing only in opening, so i analyzing many games, uh, uh, some of uh, them, okay, maybe not so important uh, uh, f from opening side, uh, but uh, if I see interesting position from uh, p p uh, strategic point of view or end game or tactic, I'm happy to analyze and I'm doing this usually without any engine because uh, I want uh, to um, keep my uh, brain in good shape. So, and uh, I to have a pleasure from this analyze, uh, from understanding why, uh, uh, for example, I see some position, I want to understand uh, what is correct move here and why and, okay, what uh, I uh, myself would do in this position and uh, how, and uh, if I have pupils, uh, I need to, to also understand how I need to explain uh, my uh, style of uh, um, found uh, move which I consider like uh, the best uh, uh, in, in this position or at least one of, uh, of good moves uh, in this position. So it's also method how uh, my uh, student can uh, find such move. Of, of course, it depends of level of the student, but okay, I, of course, uh, thinking about it too. Very nice to hear that, especially because before you started the match, uh, we did a quick 
show before the match to introduce the players and uh, we were joined by Grandmaster Nils Guandelius and he showed your game against Chiwurf where you played this fav uh, famous move Queen G7 and he actually yes. he told the story you know how uh, how even in the day you know you were finding these ideas without Janjin and all that um, so uh, yeah it's been absolutely fantastic you talked about engines there was also a question have you been following these alpha zeros uh, you, uh, these games. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. One of my friends showed me one game when uh, Queen uh, Black Queen was in H8, something like this, and uh, Black had uh, two, uh, two pawns up, but losing. But uh, okay, uh, uh, for me, much more pleasure bring uh, to see. Uh, uh, human games mm -hmm. between uh, people, which I know. Okay, so I'm not fan uh, of computer games. Uh, okay, maybe it, it's not correct uh, uh, from my side. Maybe the, uh, there are some interesting idea which I want to know. But okay, maybe uh, I uh, uh, can change it a little bit, or maybe uh, uh, okay. Uh, hard to believe that uh, uh, I will follow uh, carefully uh, computer games, but maybe uh, I will ask somebody of my friends, okay, to choose uh, some examples and show me. Great, Vasil. Uh, I think I'm out of questions. Alex, do you have any more? No. And, uh, for, uh, for and, and for example, uh, it's a good example. I played the uh, game against Kasparov. Uh, it was King in Indian defense. It was uh, in Linares. No, no, no. Or, or maybe not in Linares. Or maybe Dos Hermanos. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's easy to check. But I was why. And uh, it was King Indian. It was a Zemish system. Quite a short draw. And he played Knight F6, H7. If you give and me half a second, if you give me half a second, we will put the board, uh, put the game on the board for the viewers so they can uh, follow. Was yeah. it was it yes. by any yeah. chance Linaris ninety one or or a different Linaris? No, 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 no. not ninety one. It was later than ninety one. Uh, uh, Gata also played in same tournament. Uh, uh, I, okay, but uh, I invite them a system and big draw. Then a system in King India. Okay. Uh... <laughs> if somebody in the chat can help us yes. out quickly find the game, let's see. Mm. Okay, Ivanchuk Kasparov, I will try to find. Uh, I will try my best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One second, we will try to find the game. Let's see. Uh... Mm. Okay, so you guys. Let's see, 40, 48 games between Ivanchuk and Kasparov, and it was... Yes, I invite, it was a King's Indian Zemish system and quick draw. The link. There's... Okay. Thank you, Light Rider. Thank you. Let me, let's check. Quick draw. Yes, there no, it is. Novgorod, 1994. No, no it wasn't in Novgorod. No, 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 this it was it, a Makogonov. It, yeah. it was, in Novgorod was H3, so Bishop G5. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> it was uh, maybe in Dos Hermanos, no? no? 97 was a King's Indian. Let me see. Uh, draws. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, but for, that, not, the Dos Hermanos, yeah? But that's not enough. The Dos Hermanos, yes, because uh, I remember that uh, I spent uh, time uh, in swimming pool before the game. <laughs> okay, Dos Hermanos, 96. It was quite hot. Okay, and we add this here. Okay, I think. <laughs> Hopefully, this will work. Yeah, it's it says a variation. No, no. Okay, we have it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, he played knight h7. Okay, it's uh, and uh, he played knight h7 very quickly, Just and uh, surely knight f6 h7 he played. Mm -hmm. And surely he provoked me to play bishop g5 to e7. Mm -hmm. This attack uh, rook f8 and pawn uh, d d6. 
And uh, okay, I didn't see during the board refutation uh, after Bishop E7, but okay, I have understood that uh, he analyzed this position very well. So if I will play Bishop E7, so I will fight against very strong uh, preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, I suppose that here uh, idea was to play H4 after Bishop H7, and uh, okay, I, I have choice to t take on h4, take on f8, or play knight uh, uh, g3 to e2. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, okay, so I decide this is too risky, too complicated for me without preparation to fight against uh, prepared Kaspar. Okay, decide we'll t take on g5 and uh, move repetition and draw. And th then many years ago, I proposed to my friend Adab Tukhaev to, uh, to check uh, uh, this position with computer. And uh, he answered, okay, this is uh, totally rubbish. Bishop is a very strong move, and uh, white is clearly better in all variations. But okay, there is question. So uh, I'm sure that Kasparov uh, prepared something quite serious. Uh, okay, maybe a computer can uh, refute it, but uh, uh, during the board it's not so easy. Okay, maybe his idea was h4 knight, e2, queen, b6, and, uh, and now compensation. I can take pawn, I can take uh, 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 exchange, but okay, so, so uh, for me it's sure it cannot be so easy like uh, describe my uh, friend uh, according to computer, because I know that uh, Kasparov uh, analyzes such line uh, in very... Uh, high level. Okay, uh, maybe not only himself, he had a uh, team who helped uh, him uh, in his preparation. So surely, for me, it cannot be so easy that bishop e7 and white is uh, simply uh, much better in all variations. By the way, uh, everyone, uh, there's still, you know, over 2,000 people. It's not just the three of, uh, of us, but there's uh, over 2,000 people watching. One of them is Niels Guandelius, uh, who I know you're very well familiar with. And he is saying this is incredibly impressive, even by the standards of world-class professionals. I mean, this, what we are seeing now, you know, uh, for people in the chat, just to be clear, Ivan uh, Vasil is not looking at the game at the moment on the screen or on the board. It's all in your head, Vasil. Uh, okay, now okay, now my, this game in my head, of course, okay. I clearly remember position and variations uh, more or less, okay. So, so I can discuss in blindfold about this position and not only about this position, so, okay. But okay, if uh, uh, we have board, okay, so a board uh, not disturb me too, so I can do board. <laughs> it also can be pleasant for, for me and for my spectators too, I hope. The spectator is actually wondering, you know, it's su such an incredible memory that you have. And as you said, you know, I'm sure there's so many games you could recall like that. How could they work, you know, on, on, uh, on this kind of skill? Okay, I don't know. Okay, probably it's uh, okay. Uh, well, probably from childhood, I uh, I have quite a good memory, especially for chess. Uh, so uh, uh, when I try to use my memory in drafts, it's uh, it's much more difficult for me, probably uh, because I have no practice from childhood. But okay, uh, I also trying to improve this. And also, when I'm uh, learning uh, foreign language, so it's a different kind of memory. Interesting, yeah, because there was also the question, you're, you're famous for speaking quite a lot of languages. How many do you speak? Okay, it depends of level. Okay, more or less I can, uh, normal. Of, of course, my mother language is Ukrainian language. Of course, I can speak uh, in uh, Russian language. Uh, uh, English, Spanish, uh, Turkish, uh, uh, okay, I can speak uh, Czech language and Polish language, okay, now I started uh, uh, to, to, to learn French language, uh, so, like, okay. That's uh, pretty impressive, uh, okay. uh, it's, uh, 
uh, for me uh, uh, very uh, nice uh, I have very nice feelings that suddenly I uh, knew uh, I know something new for me because f- 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 for example uh, in French no travail ensemble Mm-hmm. I, I, I was uh, surprised because uh, I know the uh, word ensemble, but okay, uh, I consider ensemble it's, uh, it's something like uh, which have attitude to music. So uh, ensemble, many musicians doing something, uh, concert, but okay, ensemble it's together in French language, okay, I was yes. surprised. Oh, that's so nice word, okay, I, and now I will know this, okay, I'm proud of myself. I mean, it's incredibly impressive, you know, that you still, you speak so many languages already, but still you want to learn more, and French is a beautiful language, so I'm looking forward, next time I will see you, Vassil, I will yeah, speak to you in French. Yes, okay, but uh, I need to learn, and uh, and uh, I found and, uh, I, f- uh, I found very nice in- inspiration for uh, learning uh, French language because in YouTube I uh, listen regularly uh, Avalon Jazz Band with uh, famous French actress uh, Tatiane Eve Marie. It's uh, very impressive. So I listen her and. Uh, uh, after this, uh, this motivate me to understand uh, what she is thinking about. <laughs> I mean, I, I have no words. This is fantastic. Um, Vasil, just to come back to, you know, this impressive memory, this game that we just looked at against Kasparov, there was one very interesting question in the chat because you were, you know, telling us about all these lines and moves. And, and of course, you were just seeing the position in your head. And there was a question from a spectator. How do you see the board, you know? in your head like how do you visualize it okay automatically i don't know how but it's automatically without any difficulties also if uh, board 64 if uh, check uh, russian checkers or brazilian checkers same board okay no difficulties i can uh, easy play uh, in blindfold checkers okay maybe this uh, those level it's different uh, question but uh, i see position quite well okay if uh, 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 board 10 to 10, 100, it's uh, okay, I can do it too, but it's uh, <laughs> much harder for me. Yes. People are asking, do you know, is it a two-dimensional or three-dimensional board that you see in your head, like on the computer or like in real life? How do you, or do you have an answer? So, uh, so, so, so uh, I not understand totally what is question. So the the board people are still wondering. So you said you know you just see it, but do you see it like this computer board, uh, two dimensional or three dimensional, like in real real life? No, 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 not like computer, just normal uh, board with uh, from wood, which make it from wood. I I see uh, so something nice. Uh, uh, and uh, this is also uh, give me inspiration if I have uh, uh, drafts or chess board with, uh, which made uh, from wood uh, by uh, excellent master of this. It's uh, very pleasant to touch pieces. And Absolutely. Um, there is one quite random question uh, in the chat. Did you work with Grandmaster... Uh, um, Korobov was uh, was the question Korobov or Komarov? Komarov, we. Well, Ko- was Korobov his student? Was Korobov your student at any point? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I uh, okay. Of course, I know uh, uh, Korobov. I played few games against uh, him, uh, and uh, we, we played several times in the team competition because he is one of the best players from Ukraine. But uh, I have never was uh, like his coach. No. You still li- you still live in uh, Lvov, right? In Ukraine? Yes, 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 yes. And it's, yes. it's a very famous traditional city, you know, so many, I think, all, so many of Ukraine's uh, legendary players uh, have come yes. from Lvov and there's such a strong, such a great tradition. Do you still sometimes, you know, uh, before Corona, let's say, meet up with other players from Lvov or is there some kind of, you know, connection? Mm, no. 
you're in this time. Uh, I have no special uh, connection with players uh, who are living in Lviv. Okay, but uh, I don't know why. Okay, uh, I have no any logical explanation uh, uh, of this. Maybe this is just temporarily. Maybe because uh, somebody need to propose first. Uh, okay, uh, let's do something. Mm. Okay, maybe. Uh, you know that now Ralph Mamedov also living in Lviv, okay. Yeah, uh, I knew that he, he had a Ukrainian wife, but I didn't yeah. realize he was living there. Yes, he married with Natalia Buxa, mm -hmm. and now they are living in Lviv, so okay. Uh, sometimes we, uh, we are calling each other by phone and speaking. Very nice. So What about now, other players? And are you in touch, you know, either over the phone or over the internet with some other players to discuss yeah, either okay, chess yeah, or other... Okay, almost, uh, okay uh, in Skype almost everywhere I am online, okay, so my email and, uh, and uh, phone number also not a big secret, so <laughs> if somebody wants to find me, okay, it's... <laughs> You problem. should be careful, Vasily. There are still two thousand people here who I'm sure would all love to, love to call you. <laughs> okay, but uh, okay, but I, I have a, a f f f useful habit. If, for example, uh, I'm receiving a phone call and uh, I don't know who is this, so I prefer not to take it. This so is a good idea. <laughs> something unknown. Okay. <laughs> this is good advice. What about your t-shirt? Is this a chess t-shirt? Yes, it's a t-shirt from uh, Spain. I played uh, last year in Spanish Liga. Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, uh, and uh, they are organizing now a uh, 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 very good uh, team tournament for children. Duo chess, it means duo chess tournament, then organize it each Friday. And uh, children from my school also playing there, and uh, it's uh, very pleasant for me. And thanks a lot for Emilio and his wife uh, Sonia uh, who organized this. Fantastic. And I think it's really, uh, they are, the children are very, very lucky, you know, to get to work with you and to, to be uh, in your. School, there was one more book, uh, question if you want to answer. What is your favorite chess book? I guess there is quite a lot, but do you have a favorite? Uh, okay. F favorite chess school now? You mean? F sorry, favorite uh, chess book. Ah, uh, ah chess book. Uh, mm, difficult to say. Okay, uh, it's many books. Okay, for example, uh, uh, I remember Book of Lasker was fantastic. Uh, his uh, introduction to chess, quite a big book. For Russian, учебник шахматной игры Ласкера. I was impressed. Oh, of course, uh, Bronstein book about uh, Zurich uh, Interzonal 53 and okay, many other books. So I hope there are also modern books. If opening books, okay, uh, the best writers, in my opinion, is uh, Avruch, Boskalenko and Ivan Sokolov. High praise, high praise uh, of, of these guys. Um, would you, I think you haven't written a book, right? Basil. Not yet, not yet, okay, but maybe, uh, okay, because I'm lazy, but okay, maybe I need to organize myself and uh, show something interesting. <laughs> but you are, interest, you are interested in the idea of writing a book. Uh, okay, but uh, I have a laziness and, uh, okay, uh, not uh, everywhere I am uh, well organized, but okay. I will try to improve this. Of, of, like, uh, also, I want to improve my physical preparation because sometimes uh, I'm playing uh, and during the games I have feelings that uh, I'm, I'm losing concentration. That this, this is uh, because of physical preparation. So, if I want to beat Magnus Carlsen again, so I need to improve this. But you still have the motivation, you know, I, you want to beat Magnus, you still want to compete. I think one of the things what we don't want is we don't want to lose you because you will start playing only checkers. So it's good to hear that you still want to beat Magnus. 
Yes, sir, I want and uh, and I can do it, of course. No, okay. yes, I am thinking that I can do it. Well, uh, you're not the only one. I also, I think you absolutely can do it. Uh, another random question, but who's in the chat would like to know if you can show us, uh, he really much likes your watch. If you can uh, maybe tell us he wants to buy you the same watch that you have. Uh, I'm not exactly question, the, sorry. The watch, uh, your wristwatch. And, um... A watch? Uh, this? Yes, yes, yes. And what's special in what, this watch? I don't know. The people in the chat like it and they want to buy it. Is uh, Do you know the brand of the watch or something? Do you always wear mm. it? Okay, it's a brand of something like Casio or what, I don't know, it, it's very small letters, okay, but I can, uh, maybe during the day I, I can uh, take uh, glasses and uh, check for you. <laughs> That's it, I love it. It's a totally normal watch and I have another watch, this is from my father and he is a prosecutor and this is a watch from his work. Oh, very nice, <laughs> very, very nice. There is an interesting question actually, you know, so many people have said you are a real genius, uh, of uh, a genius of the game, you've been so creative. Who do you find these days of the, the up and coming, you know, the young players? Who do you find is more, you know, like kind of your style or who is the most creative? Who is the most creative? Okay, the, the, okay, there are a few of them. Okay, uh, for example, Dubov, Artemyev uh, looks like uh, really talented uh, and uh, who else? Uh, okay, maybe some Indian guys. Uh, Okay, who else? Uh, very young. Okay, maybe I uh, uh, forget somebody. Yeah, what oh? do you think? Of course, everyone always wants to know. Uh, Ali Reza has been a big name. What do you What do you think of Ali Reza and you know his future? Do you think he will be world champion? Where do you rate him? He's still, of course, super young. Okay, maybe he will be okay, uh, uh, but uh, okay, uh, he is on on the beginning of his career, so everything can be. Of course, he is quite strong, quite uh, talented. Okay, some of his moves uh, it's uh, really strange for me, but okay, it's uh, totally normal. Okay, maybe some of my moves is strange to him. Okay, o okay, also very interesting uh, example. Really. What about internet chess? Uh, tonight, well, you showed you uh, you have some great skills, you know, even if we don't see you so much playing online, you were great with in Blitz. Do you sometimes play bullet one minute chess or this doesn't interest you? No, no, no. One, one minute, it's totally crazy uh, for, for me because it seems that, uh, okay, it's uh, everybody uh, can beat me because uh, he will uh, just uh, pu uh, touch a, a mouse with more, uh, quicker way than me and uh, other my advantages uh, totally not so important in such time control. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah. If play, uh, if seriously, if play without increments, I need to have at least five minutes. Okay, yes. So, even three plus zero, it's uh, craziness for me. I, uh, I cannot imagine myself. Okay, if without increments, five minutes, okay, it's more or less uh, considerable. But less than five minutes, I don't want to even discuss about. People want to know, you know, this account that you played on tonight, you don't have so many games there. Do you have some kind of anonymous account that you used to play incognito? No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm almost uh, okay. I have some uh, other accounts, but I'm all not. I'm almost not playing chess in uh, in Le chess. So uh, I use Le chess for for lessons, for for looking uh, game of other players. So. Uh, uh, I play, .com, let's yeah, say you play, I play chess very rarely online, so uh, uh, much more time I spend playing online drafts or checkers. And I'm happy that the Russian checkers, it's now it's possible to play in the drafts. So. 
I so will ask you some two, three final questions. You were just talking about drafts. There was a question. How do you enjoy differently, uh, you know, uh, chess and checkers? How do you, what enjoyment do you get from both, both games and how is it different? Okay, uh, so big difference is my level. So, okay, in chess I am professional during many years. and I, uh, In uh, checkers, okay, I am uh, amateur. Okay, my level is about candidate of masters. It's very easy uh, to find something new for me. So I can open each book and see uh, each game and... Uh, Everywhere I have seen something new for me, and so this feeling that I want to learn something new for me, I I I want to understand better. So this is very pleasant for me. And for example, just half an hour before my match against Gata, I have seen video which Alexander Georgiev played his game and I, uh, I tried to guess his move okay some of them I successfully guessed it and I was happy <laughs> very very nice um, people are asking do you know about the website uh, the web uh, the website leadrafts.org leadrafts okay yes uh, I I'm playing uh, quite a lot there that's great. Okay, last two, three questions uh, very quickly. Who is your favorite player from the past? Uh, from the past, uh, probably Capablanca. Okay, uh, and what is your favorite game of chess ever and your favorite game that you ever played? Okay, maybe uh, uh, Polugayevsky and Nezhmedinov, I was impressed uh, with game. Okay. I, I will have to. Uh, I will have to look that one up. Okay, maybe uh, my game. Uh, I think against Bu Sanji in Vienna game. Uh, e four, e five, knight c three, knight f six, bishop c four was opening. It was quite a nice game. But okay, uh, if you are asking about my games, I always hate. Uh, have uh, hope that uh, uh, I can uh, play much better games uh, in my future and I will try to do it. Great. Well, Vasil, I know it's very, it's getting late now. We're still trying to, to find that game. Maybe we will just link it in the chat or you want to show it. I don't know. Add it, add it, is there a thing? Yes, I guess Bush Engine, it's not easy. It's from, uh, in Mag from Sophia there... or no? No, 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 it's not. Was, it was Nanjin, Nanjin, Nankin or Nanjin. So I, I was wide open and was e4, e5, knight c3, knight f6, bishop c4. Okay, let's see. One second. But he was, he was white, yeah? Yeah, I, I was white, yes. It was last round and... Uh, Maybe somebody uh, can find it in the chat. <laughs> I'm struggling here because I don't know. Uh, Let's see. Uh, uh, it was it was the Pearl Spring chess tournament? This is yes, 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 yes. Okay. And you won the game? Yes, I won the game. Okay. Sure. Uh, it was oh, not good. Found it. Okay. But yeah, but uh, in last round, I made I played this game and I was really happy. Okay, I'll put it into... We will show that and then we will let you go to sleep. But hopefully, we, I really hope that we will have you. Uh, we will have you back. Uh, okay, someday very soon. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, not forget about the stream lessons. Yes, please. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I will not forget. <laughs> of course, not now because now it's a little bit too late. But okay, in some in next week, okay, it's I hope it will be good. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm looking forward. I think when you stream, you you can be more successful than you know Nakamura, more successful than anyone. 
Okay, I hope so, but at least I need to try because uh, I don't know what is this. Oh, okay, I have seen. Uh, uh, can you explain? Uh, uh, also, webinar is uh, webinar and stream. It's more or less same, or this is the, or there are different things. No, it's it's different. I think a webinar is more when you are either trying to a webinar is like a seminar but online. So it's either like a lesson or some, uh, how can I describe it? Yeah, it's more kind of uh, like it's also less, less interactive webinar. Most of the time you speak and uh, with stream, you are have like a, you chat, a day chat to you. Ah, chat understand, to them, uh, you know? understand, understand what you mean. Uh -huh. So yeah, okay. in, in a stream. Okay, so you will have to, I know you love learning new things, Vasily. It's a crazy world out there in the streaming world. So we will have a lot to, yeah, a webinar is more like a lecture and a stream mm -hmm. is more like you're interacting, you know, uh, with the chat. Uh, uh -huh, I understand, I understand more or less, but okay, at least I need to try both of them uh, to compare it better. Absolutely. We are just looking at your game against uh, Bu Zhangxi. What was... Uh, did, did, have you highlighted one moment in that game? Uh, F3, I remember. F2, F3. He attacked my bishop, uh, but I ignored the threat and played F2, F3 and uh, create uh, attacking uh, uh, king side. And uh, it was nice move. Very F2, nice. F3. We will. Uh, shall we click through the end, through the game? Nice. See. Ah, you did already. Yeah. Uh, Vasil, people are saying, I just, it's not a question, but people in the chat uh, want you to know that they love you. <laughs> so many people thanks are saying we much. love you. <laughs> uh, and thanks to everybody who spent time uh, now with us. <laughs> well, it's been, I think, probably the, my favorite stream ever. Vasil, thank you so much for all your time and what a fantastic match. And you are really simply a legend, and uh, I hope we will see much more of you. Okay, I hope so too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vasil. Thank you very much, Vasil. Have a good night, and I'll be in touch about okay. the stream lessons. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. Have a good night.